Hey, since October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, Dr. Elizabeth Vaughn is here to discuss breast pain and tenderness. Now, many women experience breast tenderness at various times during their lives. Most commonly, it happens when they're premenstrual or early in pregnancy. Well, but you had an unusual case of breast tenderness or nostalgia recently. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. That's right. Um, nostalgia is a fancy name for generalized tenderness of the breast. Usually it's caused by a relative excess of estrogen compared to progesterone when a woman is approaching her period. Sometimes one can experience tenderness due to breast cysts, fibrocystic breast disease, or localized infection. But nostalgia means tenderness of the entire breast. But your patient was a little bit older. She was on a, a stable dose of hormone replacement therapy, correct? That's correct. And um, then all of a sudden it just kind of developed. That's right. That's right. So this is a little bit different. Older women on hormone replacement therapy shouldn't have any breast pain or tenderness. Breast pain is a signal that the breasts are not healthy. They're toxic, usually from too much estrogen effect. This may come from taking too much estrogen or too little progesterone or eating too many carbohydrates and alcohol. Grapefruit and many drugs block the breakdown of estrogen and temporarily increase the estrogen level, causing tenderness. Candida, a yeast in the gut or sinuses can make estrogenic toxins. And lastly, many environmental toxins have an estrogenic effect. And we talked a lot about, you know, problems with toxins last month, that bisphenol A mm -hmm. and the fact that it's an estrogenic was that this patient's problem? No, it wasn't hers. Hers was indoor air pollution ah. and her new musk perfume in combination caused her breast tenderness. I wrote about this in this month's Natural Triad. Building supplies have all kinds of estrogenic compounds in them and musk essence has two different compounds that are estrogenic. So the combination of both of these caused significant breast pain for the patient. Um, they have an estrogenic effect that potentially feeds breast cancer and there are some estrogenic toxins like cadmium from chronic cigarette smoke that can even cause breast cancer or cause prostate cancer. My mouth is wide open because I can't believe musk. That's wild. Yeah, there are two different compounds in musk that are estrogenic. Wow. Yeah. Unbelievable. So what did you end up doing for her? Well, first I checked her hormone levels to make absolutely certain that she didn't have too much of the hormone replacement therapy on board. And her hormone levels were just fine and they were balanced. Second, I got a thermos scan, which is different from a mammogram. It looks at the physiology of the breasts and made certain that she didn't have a localized hot spot suggesting breast cancer. And her thermos scan showed that both of her breasts just had a generalized increase effect from estrogen. No evidence of cancer. Then I treated her. First, I reduced her exposure. She had to keep working, so I had her use, uh, stop using her musk perfume and use a little personal air purifier and go ahead and use a desk air purifier to get rid of all the toxins while they finish the construction in her office. Um, this, I also gave her supplements and gave her a detox drink to help her clear all the, the toxins out of her system. She ate more broccoli and had more um, flax seeds also. Broccoli and flax seeds. Can right. I just eat like a pound of broccoli a day? Would that help me? You got the right number. A pound of broccoli is exactly how much you would have to eat. Now, you would still need some other things, <laughs> but seriously, folks, I mean, how many people will eat a pound of broccoli? So it's a whole lot easier just to take the supplements and the detox shake and do it consistently. Yeah, I, I like broccoli, but I don't know that I like it that much. A pound. Every day. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Vaughn. By the way, you can read this story in this October issue of Natural Triad Magazine. It's, it's available lots of places like Baptist Hospital, Lowe's Foods, Harris Teeter Stores. You can also check out her website, VaughnIntegrative.com. She'll be taking your calls during our urine turn segment. Mm -hmm. That's coming up at about 8.15. But if you can't wait until then, She's going to head on down to the newsroom and join you online in a web chat. You can find a link to the conversations with Dr. Vaughn on our homepage, myfoxwghp.com.